Mel Colm Sill. Gerard Gibson was born on January 3, 1956, in Peekskill, New York. He was the sixth of 11 children of Hutton and Anne Gibson, Roman Catholics of Irish descent. Shortly after the onset of the Vietnam War, Hutton Gibson relocated his family to Australia for fear that his sons would be drafted into battle. Gibson spent the remainder of his childhood in Sydney, where he attended St. Leo's Catholic College, an all-boys Catholic high school. He finished his high school education at Asquith Boys High School in New South Wales, Australia. Following his graduation from Asquith, Gibson considered becoming a chef or journalist, but he ended up taking a different career path after his sister submitted an application on his behalf to the National Institute of Dramatic Art in Sydney. After conquering the stage, Gibson tried his hand at television, landing his first role on the Australian series The Sullivans. He graduated to mainstream cinema in 1979 with two film roles, as a futuristic warrior in Mad Max and as a mentally disabled man who falls in love with an older woman played by Piper Laurie in Tim. For his performance in the latter film, Gibson earned his first Australian Film Institute Award for Best Actor. Furthermore, Mad Max became the biggest commercial success of any Australian film to date, grossing more than $100 million worldwide. Gibson received his second AFI Award, again for Best Actor, for his performance as a patriotic idealist in Peter Weir's 1981 World War I drama, Gallipoli. Later that same year, he reprised his role as the leather-clad hero in Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior, released in the United States as The Road Warrior in 1982. The film's success established Gibson as an international star. Gibson's American film debut in 1984's The River was considered a success. The film earned four Academy Award nominations, including a Best Actress nod for Sissy Spacek. In 1985, Gibson returned to Australia to complete the Mad Max trilogy with Mad Max, Beyond Thunderdome, which also starred singer Tina Turner. Later that year, the actor's popularity was confirmed when he was featured on the cover of People as the magazine's first ever sexiest man alive. After a brief hiatus, Gibson returned to the screen with the blockbuster hit Lethal Weapon, 1987, playing volatile cop Martin Riggs, opposite Danny Glover, who portrayed by the book character Roger Murtaugh. The success of Lethal Weapon inspired three sequels, Lethal Weapon 2, 1989, Lethal Weapon 3, 1992, and Lethal Weapon 4, 1998, all featuring Glover and Gibson in their respective roles as Good Cop and Bad Cop. Gibson released his most passionate project to date in 1995, directing and starring as 13th century Scottish nobleman Sir William Wallace in the medieval epic Braveheart. The film went on to triumph at the Oscars, winning top honours in five categories, including Best Picture and Best Director. Mel Gibson returned to the director's chair for his next project, an ambitious film about the final 12 hours of Jesus Christ's life entitled The Passion of the Christ, 2004. The unlikely blockbuster made headlines for its controversial adaptation of The Crucifixion. Not long after filming The Passion, Gibson was accused of being both an anti-Semite and a racist. He had pleaded no contest to a drunk driving charge in 2006, later admitting 
that he'd made anti-Semitic remarks during his arrest and openly acknowledging his battle with alcohol addiction. He was sentenced to three years of probation, including mandatory Alcoholics Anonymous meetings. Amid more leaked remarks that only worsened his situation as a Hollywood pariah, Gibson starred in the 2011 film The Beaver with Jodie Foster, playing a suicidal man who bonds with his hand puppet. However, the role failed to soften his image or restart his acting career, and Gibson returned to the action genre for his next three roles on the silver screen. Get the Gringo, 2012, Machete Kills, 2013, and The Expendables 3, 2014. Gibson found himself back on the upswing in 2016 with Hacksaw Ridge, his first directing effort in 10 years. Based on true story about a conscientious objector during World War II who saved 75 soldiers without shooting a single bullet, the film was a modest success at the box office, but earned Gibson Golden Globe and Oscar nominations for his direction. Continuing his return to prominent standing within the industry, Gibson appeared at the Academy Awards in February 2017, good-naturedly handling the barbs, launched his way by host Jimmy Kimmel. Later that year, Gibson was due to appear alongside Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg and John Lithgow in Daddy's Home 2, and also teased fans about the possibility of a fifth installment of Lethal Weapon. In 1980, Gibson married Robin Moore. The couple had seven children together before filing for divorce in 2009. Shortly after his divorce proceedings began, Gibson began dating Russian singer Oksana Grigorieva. The couple had their first child shortly before splitting in 2010. In September 2016, Gibson's rep confirmed that the actor's girlfriend of two years, Rosalind Ross, was pregnant. In January 2017, Ross gave birth to Gibson's ninth child, son Lars Gerard. 